Hey, Nicole. Hey, Glenna, Louise. So how many like decorating birdhouses? We're gonna decorate up this birdhouse. I'm good today, Kim. How are you doing? Hi, Sharon. Did that say from Australia? Welcome. Hello, Paula, Libby, Arkansas, and Cheryl. So I'm gonna get going right away because this will take a little bit. We're decorating up this birdhouse. Um, the transformation is going to be crazy, I think. I hope you like it. It'll be pretty. Hey, Jan. All right, Kendra, you got my text. Good. Awesome. So, like I said, Facebook isn't the most reliable of letting people know when you're on um, or even sending out, just trying to get our messages and our pictures and things like that posted. It just hasn't been very reliable. Hello, Lene. How are you? I'm glad you're on. Lene, go ahead and drop your link. Number three design company. Um, just catch her. She's adorable. Go follow her. Anybody else out there that want to drop their link, go ahead. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This birdhouse, the, the size is um, Hobby Lobby. You get them 50% off every two or three weeks. Uh, they're normally $8.99. I know you can get some maybe a little bit smaller than this at Dollar Tree. So they're probably not quite as heavy as this, but they're definitely um, would work. Okay. So I'm just trying to get off the label. I miss what the link is for the collage. Okay, the and, and I didn't even say that yet. I put a link out there, and we are using um, Tim Holtz collage paper. So I've used it before. Um, I think I first used it probably a year ago on some crosses that I did the crackling paint on. And we're going to use it tonight on this birdhouse. I'm just using a baby wipe to get the rest of that glue off or some of it. Because we're going to paint the bottom of it too. So I want that off. So we're just, we're just going to have some fun. This is sort of like a mixed media kind of thing. We're going to be adding different things to make it look really, really cute. So it's going to look sort of old. It's going to look sort of garden. I mean, to me, it sort of would be a farmhouse kind of or... I don't know if you would describe it as shabby chic or what, but so we're starting with the birdhouse. We're also got these, I've taken four of these beads. Um, you get them at Hobby Lobby. They're in a package. I can't tell you the size of them, but if you look, they're sort of hexagonal all over the shapes. We're going to use four of them too. So we've got them out. They come in a package, probably, I don't know, maybe a dozen of them, I would think. So match them up to the size of your birdhouse. Let me tell you what it's gonna be. So they're gonna be like this. So match them up to the size, all right? You might need smaller. You could just reuse regular beads. You don't need these hexagon if you don't want. Hello, Amy. So, um, and we're using the clash paper. And again, that's what the link is for. And it's, um, I will, make sure that I point that out when I bring out the collage paper. So first color I'm using is Anita. It's actually, um, I was gonna say, I have several Anitas tonight. This is the dark or bark, bark brown. Any brown will do, um, whatever you have. Um, actually, I'm not even probably gonna do as much on here. I'm gonna just start. We're gonna paint the whole birdhouse brown. You just use a big old paintbrush. You don't have to get fancy with it. It's okay if a little bit shows through. Is that any brown will do? And if you want to do different colors, you can do different colors. If you don't want to do brown as an under, um, use whatever colors you want. So I'm just going to start up on a side here now and you want to get everywhere. So I started at the bottom. You want to get the sides. You want to get on top of here. It's got a cute little ledge. Okay. 
Thank you, Lene, for passing it on. I appreciate it. You guys all, again, go out and follow Lene. Um, she probably dropped her link out there. Anybody else, please drop your link to your pages. Let's support each other, right? Hi, Louise. Yeah, Debbie, don't you love birdhouses? This one, it'll, it'll be cute. Or I think it'll be cute anyhow. It's okay if you get paint around on things if some of it comes off that's fine and I'm just squirting it on it's a lot easier and I'm squirting it on me a lot easier just to squirt it right on here than to try and take it off of here you're just getting a good amount on you don't need you don't need to be perfect though Holly, thank you for passing it on. I appreciate it. It's going to be sloppy tonight. <laughs> it's going to be sloppy. I'll be full of paint. It's all right. Crafting is about sloppy, right? I'm going to do up underneath this edge here, too. make everything pretty and homey looking. Aw, Kendra, thank you. That's, I like the homey kind of country. I like the kind of rustic. You know, this you could change up though too, paint it bright. I always say you can change things up to match what you like. So I'm just giving you ideas. It doesn't have to be as rustic as what this is going to look or as rustic or farmhouse. It's um, it doesn't have to be that. You can change the colors of your paint. You can change the decorations that I'm putting on, but I like what I'm putting on. Let me keep, oh, I missed. Oh, yeah. Hello, Natalie. The brown, this is called Bark Brown. It's Anita's brand, but you honestly can use any brown. You can use really any color if you want to change it and not be completely, I mean, we're putting over other colors over it, but say you want a brighter birdhouse, maybe use a, a teal or something like that. You, I'm using brown, but you'll see my reasoning. But you could use a teal or something on that order. I just wanna get that brown everywhere. You don't want any, anything left uncovered, but it can be sloppy. And if a little bit sticks through, it's okay. Yeah, Natalie, yeah, I love birdhouses too. So, um, random act of kindness tonight again. Make sure you stick on and I'll draw one or two names, maybe two names. See how high we can get. If you've all passed me on, that'll get me higher on here. Um, and then maybe we'll get up to two happy mail. When I send out, I call names, I send out happy mail, and then I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone. That's my deal. Okay, I'm just getting inside of this hole. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get up on these edges. This project will be a little bit longer um, just because we're got to dry the layers in between. And it won't take much to dry, but we just got to dry them a little bit. And just keep flipping it around and see what you missed. Peggy, thank you for passing it on. Um, can you use a pair of little bird blue thing? Bluebird salt and pepper shaker. Oh, that sounds cute. I missed the rest of that, but I will have to check back. Hello, Anne from the Northwoods. Is it like the Northwoods of Wisconsin? Are you 
up in Michigan. So some of it I'm just putting in the brush just to try and get onto this edge. Have paper or something under you, just something near, because you are gonna get paint around. Unless you're really, really careful, um, a lot more careful than me, you're gonna get paint. So just make sure you have something under it. I always, somebody asked me the last time, and I guess I never really thought about it. They asked what I use um, under my things as I'm making. I use, well, I've got newspaper here now, but I get cheap tablecloths, and they're usually the large vinyl kind, and I can cut them in half and use them until they're no good anymore, <laughs> until they're just so full. And, you know, they're cheap. You buy them on clearance. Like, I have a couple Easter ones now. Buy them on clearance. So that's what I use. Hello, Julie. Hi, Jane. Just getting everywhere. Wait till y'all see the difference. It's 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 crazy what we're doing tonight. It's I think it's gonna be really really pretty. Hi Stacy. Many names include Hi Lila. Soup for a soup kitchen. Amazing clothes. I missed what the rest was. That's awesome. Yeah, we don't need to be given things to do. Random act of kindness. And you know what? A lot of times the random act of kindness makes you feel just as good as those people, maybe even better. So that's why I like to do this giveaway and just ask that you do the random act of kindness then for someone else. So then there's double blessings you get and somebody else does. All right, I think I've got everywhere. I just don't want any clumpy parts so it doesn't take so long to dry. So we got that brown all over. It's doggy potty. Okay, I've heard of that for a large cardboard cake holder. I heard about the dog, the, what are they called, potty pads? I've never seen them. I guess, my dog is too big to do something like that. I, I guess it is, Lene. And I know you also do, um, giveaways too. I know you do too. You were doing some of the random act of kindness giveaways too. All right, we're just going to dry this up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and from the crafter's corner in, um, the Dollar Tree too. Yes, definitely. I have one in there too. I'm always grabbing some just because I really go through them pretty quick. Thank you. And that's what it's got to be about, right? And that just, like I said, it makes you feel as good as it makes them feel. And three different bird houses that need ideas for. Here we got one. Oh, you got one from Yvonne? I didn't see hers, so I'll have to check it out. Well, Paula, do you have little dogs? Not a problem, Lene. Happy mail, yeah. So, and it's happy mail that we say. Um, some people think we say happy meal. Happy mail, so like M-A-I-L. It's the Wisconsin accent, I think, that we don't have. All right, now I can move it over here. Sure. You wanna make sure it's good and dry when we put this next layer on. Now another thing that would be really cute on here would be crackle paint, but I can make it look pretty old without crackling it. So that's what I'm going to show you. Yes, nail and a. I think you have that problem too, right? And you're from, from down south. Almost done. Lene, you don't have an accent either, no. <laughs> it's just so funny how we all don't think we have an accent. And we all think you do. 
so yeah, Shelly. <laughs> I use the pet pads also. So you use that for painting or you put that underneath? I, I don't know what they look like. Is that like where you just, so like people say they put them by a door so their dogs don't have to go outside? All right, I think I'm, I think I'm dry. It's warm in here. We have our wood still going because we have no furnace for the last month. We're getting a new one, but so whenever we can, we'll start the wood stove. Um, and you know what I forgot to do? Um, I need to paint up these things. I'm just going to get a brush back on. From Kansas and don't have an axe. See, you don't have one either, right, Shelly? None of us do. All right, I forgot to paint up these little wood blocks. So I'll just put a little paint on here now. One side you don't need to paint because you're gonna be gluing it on. So I just hold both sides. Again, you're gonna get sloppy paint. Unless you wanna put it on a dowel or something. And then I put it down and then do the top. Shirt that said, I have a shirt that said, oh, I miss it. I'm sorry. It goes through here so fast. Puppy pads are great. They have plastic on the bottom of them. And then you, okay, so I missed again. You put them on your table. Yes, you put it on a boot mat in my, so the dogs, hmm. And do they not smell? I, I don't know. I've only had big dog. Well, I did have a, a um, what was Chia? I don't remember what Chia was. I can't remember what kind he was. Don't they, that's what I was asking. Don't they smell? I don't, I don't know. You know, but I suppose, is it like a diaper? All right, last one. Just get all sides, except, like I said, you don't have to do one side because that will be the side will stick to the hose. There we go. And yes, you're gonna get very, very dirty. No smell, very absorbent. Hmm. They're pads people put under older people's beds. And, okay, I just didn't know that. I learned something new. All right, so we're going to go back to this one now. My bag on the wrong side. These pads remind me of the Chuck's pads. All right, well, I learned something new. I'll have to look for them. And you put them under you when you're doing it. Is that right? All right, so we're gonna let them there dry. We're done with that. that now I'm gonna use the Anita's um, Antique White. So there's also, I mean, again, it, this is just sort of an off-white. And I'm starting to run low on it. Put a bunch on and now I'm going to use one of the chip brushes again. You get these at a hardware store. They're not a perfect, you do this a lot. A lot of people use them for like their napkinizing. And we're just going to, okay, so we're going to dab it in there and just dab a little bit off. And just, just brush. And you're not, you're going to see, and get some on the edges. And that's why you want it dry. Otherwise, it's going to blend that brown in, and you'll have like a creamy color brown. So that's why you want it dry. 
and do that all the way around again. No rhyme or reason. I, I do like going in the same direction though. All right, I missed something, something somebody said. Get up on these edges. Let's see, isn't that cute? on the bottom two and that chip brush just makes it look old already it doesn't give you the best of coverage hi Brenda how are you Brenda drop your link to anybody else out there um, go ahead and drop your links make sure you go check them out I think I got everywhere except for the top now. So we want these edges to make sure you get the bottom edges. Again, you're gonna get messy, just it wipes off. Good, Brenda. And it's already looking old. It's a big difference from when we started already. All right, now we're just going to bunch on the roof. Need a little more. And again, this is the Anita's brand, the antique white. Use any kind of creamy color if you're doing if if you're doing this kind of color. Okay, if you're doing like the brown and the old. Um, then a cream, off-white, something on that order. But this would be gorgeous if you don't want the rustic. This would be gorgeous. Do this like in a teal. Um, and if you put this white over it, over like a teal, it wouldn't look as rustic and old because it would be closer to the color. It's just the brown. I think the brown under it makes it look like that. Make sure you got all right so that's what we got that's all we need of no I lied I almost did it again we have to do these two you're just getting more actually on those corners is what it ends up a little on that top These chip brushes make it so easy. Good, Natalie, I'm glad. Thanks, Pam, for the hearts. This came out, what are you crafting tonight? We're crafting a birdhouse. I wish you could see the beginning of this birdhouse. It's a plain wood birdhouse that we started with, okay? The kind you buy to craft with. So you got the idea of what it is, and when we're done with it, it's gonna be really cute. It's a little bit longer. I, I said that right from the beginning. It's a little bit longer, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So, all right, so now I'm done with the cream color. And if you don't like it on your fingers, use gloves or something, but it wipes off. I have a baby wipe here that we just clean it up with. Now we're gonna add just a couple little colors to that. We're gonna dry it up in just a couple little colors, then we're gonna start decorating on it. Okay. We'll look at comments again while I do this. Okay, does it matter what size of chip brush? Absolutely not. Um, some of them are skinnier. No, you just have to do in more places then, but no, absolutely not because it still has that texture. Um, it's just not a great brush. It's not one that you would want to get full coverage with because you won't get it. So without seeing lines or anything. My hair looks very, we just had 
to it done. Um, I did last week. I did get my hair done last week. Oh, you got it on your shirt. Oh gosh, yeah. This shirt already, no, it's okay. I already have paint on this shirt. That's why I wore it. So I get paint on a lot. So yeah, I don't mind on this shirt. It's an old shirt. Yeah, I got splatters all over. It's all right. It's an old shirt. That's why I wore it. Are you going to do decals? Rita, I am going to do the Tim Holtz collage paper and more. All right, so um, yeah, it, you learn, you wear certain shirts when you paint, especially something like this. And thanks, Kim. Hello. See you soon. I have paint on my PJs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got PJ pants on. Does that count? <laughs> you know, I always wear the comfortable pants sitting here, and I'm always embarrassed when I have to get up. Yeah, Alanae, the paper is the best. I used it probably the first time a year ago, and I've seen other people have been using it, and... So I know I've seen other people use them on other things now too, so it's it's cute. I have not learned that lesson. Ha, <laughs> Lene. Lene, you always look beautiful on your lives. Okay. We're dry. Okay, just just pretty dry. Okay, so we've got two more colors here. And we don't need much of it at all. And now I'm using scruffy brushes. So they're just called a scruffy brush. Um, you can get them at Walmart or whatever or craft store and I'm using two colors aloe this is the deco art it's called aloe any kind of green sagey green something like that if you're using this Tim Holtz paper and the colors that I'm doing the other color I'm using is an Anita's rose mauve um, any kind of little bit of a pink or I have a um, vintage pink would look gorgeous on it and you won't even see much honestly you don't see much we're just gonna put a little bit on. It's my pajamas also. Yeah, it's nobody sees it unless you gotta get up, right? Okay, so and I've got two of these here because we're gonna use the two different colors. So I'm just gonna start with the pink and now we gotta use some paper towel. We're gonna wipe a lot of it off. Okay, somebody asked about where the birdhouse, maybe? Yes, the birdhouse. It was a plain, plain wood birdhouse. This was Hobby Lobby, $8.99, and you get 50% off every few weeks. Um, you can get birdhouses, though, at Dollar Tree, too. They're a thinner, lighter weight, um, probably a little smaller, but you can definitely do them and do the same thing. All right, so I'm just wiping a lot of that pink off that I'm already starting with. And I'm just going to brush some of it on. And if you can see, yeah, you can see that on there. So it's just going to add a little bit of color. You're not going to see a lot of it. Get a little bit up on these edges. And we're going to do that all the way around. And I'm doing it up and down now. It doesn't really matter. Just want to be able to get a little bit on. And I'm using pink because it's going to look good with the paper. But you really, if you don't want pink, you don't have to use pink. Just adding a little extra color. Okay, and get it on some of the edges. On here you see you can see it's nothing perfect and you're wiping a lot of it off so you don't get the big dark clumps on it um said you were coming live yes yeah, so if you are not on my text list I will tr I'm trying to remember to send texts when I go live. If you're not on my text list, send a text to my text number. Okay, screenshot. 
and I'll try and send out when I'm gonna go live because you don't always get the notices otherwise. I didn't dab that one off. Okay. Okay, so we've got that pink in different places. And I'm not gonna do it on here. I don't think you'll really see it. All right, now I'm gonna do the sage green, the same thing. And just add the green in different places. Can you see that too? Yeah, you can see that, right? Okay, we're over 200. That's too happy mail at the end of here. So keep commenting. Um, cause at the end I scroll and I'll pick two people that I'll send happy mail to. And I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone then. So you're going to be blessed by happy mail from me and they're going to be blessed because you're going to do something good for them and you don't have to pay anything to do it. There's a lot of free kindness you can do. All right, can you see the green in there too? It just makes a little bit older. And then I think we're ready to start putting the rest on. I think we're done painting. Okay, so it looks pretty old now, right? And that, that was pretty easy, it was the um, just the color is paint. So we started with the brown. If you're on late, we started, this was bark brown, um, an antique white, and then we used the rose mauve and uh, aloe green. Any of these colors will work. They don't have to be this brand or, or the names. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Okay, so next we're going to start putting on now. You see the link there? That's collage paper. Uh, it's an affiliate link to Amazon. You can get this paper there. Um, this is the Aviary by Tim Holtz. There's, this is a two pack that you would get on here. It's Aviary and then there's another really pretty flowered one. I have that also, but we're using the bird one today. And you'll see, it's like a tissue paper. And you'll see how cute is that, right? So, there's different things. Now, this front one, I, I already know. I want this on the front because I think those birds will match up, but I, I need a whole piece. So I'm, I'm going to cut that part off. And we're just going to take pieces of it and put it in places. And then we're going to do some more decorating yet yeah, besides that. What are you going to Glossvit? Glossvit. Glass fit? What, what is glass fit? I'm sorry. All right, so this piece I'm cutting off. I'll save that. Okay, look at this this part, this birdie darling. I love that. We're going to cut that. We're going to put that on the side. And if you want to tear, you can, but I'm afraid that my tearing wouldn't be good and I would mess up some of this that I want. But you can make a little bit jagged edges. And another reason why I like using this white is because this will blend right in. See, as you put it on there, it'll blend in. Okay, so that's a piece I want. I would like um, these two birds here. I think they'll be cute. And you just pick up pieces that you like out of it. There's a lot of these words on here would be really cute. Um, and you can put as much or as little. Last year when I did this, again, I did it on a cross, like on crackle paint, and that worked awesome. I've done it on pots, um, and that I've, I, I did that on a live also. Okay, so we're going to have this piece. I think we can use this little cute little bird. You can outline the tissue with watercolor pens and tears, yes. With, does that work as good with this tissue? What she's saying, and I've heard that also like with a paintbrush, if you get water on it and outline where you want it to tear and tear it, it works. I know you can do that on napkins. Um, I didn't know how well it would work on here, but it, it, it more than likely does. All right, so this, 
Little bird is cute. We'll use him. And then I said, I like this. And I want to line this up so that it's going to go that I'm going to have a bird on the side of the hole and a bird above here. So this isn't going to go all the way to the top, but I want some of that nest. So we're just going to cut this big piece off here. And I think we'll have enough then. Remember the cross. Oh, thank you. I did love it, love it too. Okay, so I'm going to do, I want to try and figure out where I want this, and I'm going to even crease it down in here just so I know because now the birds are on the outside of the hole because I'm going to be poking that hole in, and I want to make sure that we see the birds. So we'll line it up. We've got the bird up there. So this is the way I want it. So I've got the creases so I can sort of figure it out. Now, you can use Mod Podge for this. Definitely, you can use Mod Podge. I've been hooked on using this Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. I like the matte. Um, it, when it dries, you don't see it at all. And I think that's why I like it so much. So that's what I'm using to put this on. And you can see, it's just, it's a thicker, it's like a thicker gel. I like using this other, I'm just going to use this skinny little one. And all I do, I just use the back of this and and just spread it on. And it doesn't have to be thick. And I also want it on the inside edges here. You probably could use a foam brush too. I maybe feel like an artist doing this. I don't know. It just, you can scrape it really well. So, and I'm just trying to get it all over on this front edge. And lay this back on here. Again, I want those birds offset and I sort of had it laid in there. So we'll just lay it back down, crease that in. And we'll end up taking that off. I am not an artist. I feel like one when I use that. Okay, so I'm press it down. You might get a little wrinkle in it. That's okay. This is a little more forgiving than tissue paper, though, than or than um, napkins. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a layer of this over the top, also. And again, the reason why I like this is it really it really does dry so that you don't see it. Even if you have little thicker parts of it, you don't see it. Um, one thing I want to do is my scissor. And we're going to poke that into And we're just gonna bend that down in there. Okay, I'm just finish getting this around. Make sure that's down in the middle there. And then I like, and then I just scrape off. A bunch. Okay, so that's on there. And I'm going to let the rest of this a little bit set up and we'll end up cutting off some of it and sanding a little bit off. Okay, so we'll just let that and let, we'll just work around. So let's do this birdie darling on here. Itchy. Where, where do you get the gel? You can get the gel. You can probably get it online at um, Amazon or something, but I get it at Hobby Lobby. And this is, um, 
this does go on sale there also i would recommend getting it on sale because otherwise it's a little more expensive and when it's on sale then i think it's 50 percent off so you get a really good price um, and you can even buy a bigger container than this um, but it's a little more pricey but i just i really really like using it um, I said, when this dries, you do not see it at all. Where you do see Mod Podge, you, I mean, you do see it. So I like where you don't see it. Okay, so we just put that on. Make sure it's everywhere. Lay that on. Let's put more on top. If you're interested in getting these, you can, I've seen these in, even at the Dollar Tree. They have a kit of them, like five of them in a kit of different sizes. I'm almost sure I saw them at the Dollar Tree too, but I think I got mine at Hobby Lobby, right near where this is, in the artist supplies. What is this stuff? This is called matte gel medium. You could use, honestly, you can use um, Mod, Podge, Mod Podge if you wanted. Like I said, I like this just because you don't see the extra, you don't see it when you put it on top and it dries. So you do not see it at all. All right, so let's just put on another bird. Let's see. I sort of like... Let's put a little bird down over here. And you could wrap it around if you want. I'm sorry, if I'm going off camera, I'm sorry. Hold it, hold it up longer so I can screenshot. This gel medium, okay. Now, if you go to Amazon to get this collage paper, it's Tim Holtz. I have a link there. You could probably get this on there too. Like I said, I know this goes on sale at Hobby Lobby ever, probably every few weeks too, I would guess. Um, it, it goes on sale. It, like I said, it's not for everybody. If you know, It is a little more expensive, but I just love the texture. I love how it looks. I'm gonna put a little bit on this side just because this side might wrap around a little. On. And even if I notice, if you have it a little thicker in a place and it dries, you still don't see it, so. This is the same that I used. If you saw me, I was on um, a crafting event for Easter, and I did Easter rabbits with paper. Um, I had to do 10, I think, and I, I used this for that also, and that's where I started using it. Okay, so this, okay, that's sort of the same as the front. We're going to use this, this, these birds, and we'll put them on the back, and I think um, I'll probably put one more bird on the other side here, and that's all we're going to need for, for these, and then we're going to finish decorating with other things. So this is a bigger area again. Just put a bunch on. Now, be careful if you lay it down because if it sticks a little bit, some of it will pull off on your paper. So you wanna make sure, if you're gonna lay it down, make sure it's dry. Okay, just lay that on there. A little more on top of there. Just make sure the edges are down just scrape the excess off. Be careful so you're not really digging into it so that it doesn't tear it. But it's pretty, pretty solid. Okay, 
So that's that side. We're just gonna put one more bird over here, I think. We'll use one of these. Actually, I've got this little bird here. Um, I've got the nest on the front. We're gonna, we'll use this little bird, I think. You don't need to cover the whole thing if you don't want to um, with collage paper because you can use other things in between. Okay, let's just put him. All right, I think I'm done. We're done with that. Okay, I done the bird on the side. Thank you. And I'm sorry I'm, I wasn't able to watch comments while I'm doing that. I just really want to get it on. And now uh, while I'm drying this, I can do some more comments, okay? Because we don't want to be here all night. And I know this will, this takes a little bit. So like I said this this will probably was the most the rest of the decorating is going to be pretty easy on here so let's just we're going to dry this up so if you didn't get this again if you want a screenshot this is the it's liquitex matte gel medium there's probably some other gel mediums out there different brands um but this one works just fine and then the collage paper is what i've got linked there um, you can, I know you can get that on Amazon. You used to be able to get it at Hobby Lobby, but I don't think they have it anymore. They might have it at other craft stores. Um, okay. I'm going to dry this up a little bit, and then I'm going to sand off the edges here. All right. Can this go outside? It probably could go outside as long as you put a really good clear acrylic sealer over it, like multiple layers. All right, what I'm putting on it, I don't know that I'd wanna put it outside. It would be really cute like in a porch or something like that, but I don't think what all I'm putting on here you could have outside. But you definitely, if you just did this and really put a clear acrylic sealer, you know, probably several layers of it, you probably could get away with that. All right, so I'm just going to, I've got sort of gloppy here. I'm not gonna be using it, but okay. we wanna sand off these edges. Just, just as easy with a little file here. And then I also want to try and get this edge off. I also have an X-Acto knife here if I have to, I'll use that. Got mine at Joann's. Okay, and somebody got it at Joann's. Okay, perfect. Got a little bit of that bird is sticking up. There we go. Okay, again, I'm just going to try and cut it with my emery board. I was already drying up there, which is fine. Oh. Same thing. There we go. And that just gets those edges off. And just lay them down.
Okay, now I'm just gonna finish drying this up and then we're gonna finish decorating it. Okay, you can see all the different sides now. Oh, did I not have a bird? I don't have anything on this side. I need something on each side. Thank you, Roxanne, I appreciate it. So I just gotta put a little more on this side. Put this bird on here. You just want a little on each side. You don't, like I say, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I really want the look of that. Okay. Now we're done. Thanks, Christina. We did. Now we're going to be decorating other stuff. Just to, we're adding extra things on that are going to make it look really cute. It's not going to look like that original wood house. You like it how it is. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Janice. Thank you. I do too, Norma. Like I said, I love this collage paper. It just, I, I love it. It looks so cute. And when this dries, you don't, you just see all that color shining through. It's real colorful. You don't necessarily have to use a dryer, but if I want to decorate on it tonight, we need to. Thank you, Kendra. Thanks, Callie. I'm just going to try and get as much dry here, and then we're going to be a little damp while we're decorating. Will you be putting this in your Etsy shop? Probably. I can't wait to see the finish. I did one last night, so I'll probably have two of them. Thanks, sweetie. Hello, Janice. I love the piece on the front, too. That's my favorite. It just fits there. It just fits there. And you can see, as it's drying, it, you don't even have a shine to it. That's why I like that product. I, I just like it because of that. Thank you, Diane. Thanks, Delilah. Thanks, Patricia. So, like I said, it, it takes a little bit to dry. I did warn you all that this is going to be a longer project tonight. But once this is dry, the decorating will, of the rest of it won't take too long. But it's going to add something to it, trust me. I hope you stick on. Do you, Christy? I know I had it. I, like I said, I used it last year, like probably about a year ago, on cr Crackle Painted Cross, and that was my favorite. And then I did it on a clay pot also. Just loved it. Yeah, Amazon also has three packs of three different kinds. So the link I have there is a two pack because I figured it's cheaper doing the two. Um, one is floral and one is this aviary. Okay, I think I can get away now with... With decorating the rest of this up. The black and white papers too, yeah. Hi Betty. So you put in the texture in small areas where you put the design, yes. Let me show you the other, so I can show you the difference. This, this is what I had done at Easter time and you do not see at all. And it was completely covering everything. It covered everything and you don't see any shine. You don't see anything. So that's why I like this product.
so that all will dry everything will dry and you won't see it at all so okay so let's start decorating uh, we are going to put these we're going to put the paper aside because i saved those so i can use them again these are going to be on the bottom and then i've got the one side that i didn't paint we're going to put them on the bottom and then because these are hexagon I'm going to make sure that I'm going to have them lined up at the corner and so that there's a flat side on the corners like that. We'll just get our hot glue. And line it up. And it's going to be like a little pedestal that it's sitting on then, or just the little, little legs. Yeah, I like that it has no shine too. I just, I really, really like that. Mod Podge adds a texture to it that you see, which, but it's cheaper and I get it. Um, so if you want to use Mod Podge, totally understand and it will completely work for it. Okay, so there's two of them. Okay. Yeah, this one. So one of these sides I didn't paint, that's why I was just sort of turning it around. Um, again, I'm making sure that I have a flat side here and a flat side here so that it's going to look the same all the way around. Okay, there's the start. And that just that just adds something to it. That's cute, right? All right. So next, um, okay. I do want to make sure this is sort of dry. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a little, just a little more coloring in places, and that's another reason why I wanted it really pretty dry rubber stamps i've used them before this is one now this is one you you might be able to get something similar to this somewhere i used to do close to my heart scrapbooking and uh, rubber stamps and everything like that i'm almost debating on adding that back into what i do um but so this is an old one i had and it's like balloon string almost it looks like and i'm going to use some of the distressed ink it's probably tim holtz too right and this is the black that I'm using. And all I'm going to do is rub it on. And let's see if you can see this. So I'm just going to, and it doesn't have to be, it could be any one. It just adds a little something extra to what you're doing. It just adds a little more dimension. So like I said, there's all different kinds of rubber stamps. You can look in different places and you can, I mean, there's so many cute kinds out there, but like I said, this one is close to my heart and, but it, I don't know that it, this was years ago that I did this. Just adds that little bit of extra texture to it. Thanks, D. Add a little in here. No rhyme or reason where you're doing it. I don't know that I need it on the front. The front is so busy, I don't think you'll see it anyhow. Thanks for all the hearts. I'll just add a little more here. And you can do it right on top of the paper. Like that one's right on the paper. This one will be on the paper. Okay. That just adds extra cuteness. You can see that on there. And then all I do is just, again, I, I use baby wipes a lot clean that off just so it doesn't dry on there just clean that off i just use a baby wipe it works and that's all we need with that 
Okay, so next we're gonna start adding to it. And I have this little, all of everything that I'm using here is Hobby Lobby now. Okay, so I have like this little shrub. Oh, you know, there's one more thing I have to add before the shrub. So we have the shrub, this was Hobby Lobby. Get it when it's 50% off, but it has so much to it. I use it all the time. You probably see me on here all the time using it. We'll use that, but there's one more thing I forgot we're gonna add on first to the front. This is, you know, this might even be Walmart though. We've got this little, little trim. We're gonna line our birdhouse with that. Um, did you have the litters on the bottom from Hobby Lobby? what that said did you the lifters on the bottom yes oops my comments went away yes these were like beads so um or by like the wood beads that you buy and then i painted them okay um they were just the plain wood okay so we're gonna just add that ribbon to here. Line it up. A little hard doing it upside down. I love with that little trim. And then we're gonna bring it back down this side. It's really hard doing it upside down. Okay, here we go. There we go. She's dulling it up so cute. They're dulling it up. <laughs> I always dull things. Okay. I'm just going to pull this one up a little bit here. Thanks for the hearts. Pull this up a little bit. I just wanna make sure this trim hangs down. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Button. That was gonna be my final thing, Kendra. That's gonna be, that's gonna be my final. That's my finale is the button. All right, so that's my finale. Don't let me forget it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to this bush. So you can pick up pieces of it. Um, I'm gonna take this piece and we'll see if it's too big. But we're gonna lay it in here. We're gonna try and tuck it a little bit behind so that we still see. We're gonna add that in there, okay? So, and I do want to I said, tuck it a little bit behind or pull out this trim so you don't see it. So I'm just going to add a dab of glue along here and try and fit it on. it in let some of that trim hang out of course you got to be of course there's got to be a button yes 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 so I'm tucking this behind the trim because that trim is just so dang cute 
and I'm gonna put just a little bit of dab of glue on here just to keep it down. We need a little more of this. So this big branch that I have, I said, you get it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know the name of it, um, but like I said, it's so full and you can use it um, so much. So I'm just gonna use a couple maybe I don't need anything big right now. I've got the biggest part on. I'm gonna put a little piece down from this side. I don't want to completely cover up the birds because that's an important part on here. Put that on. I think we're going to add just a little more. Just a couple places, I think, just on some of the sides. I'm sorry, the hearts. This reminds me of the bench you did. Yeah, D, this room. And actually, I just sold that bench today. There's a mom out there that's going to get it. So that makes me happy. So just add, add them in. And I'll probably put, I think I'm going to put one more back here. Just play with it, just whatever you think is going to look good. So, um, that's going to cover that bird. I don't want to cover that bird up because that's part of it again. So, I'm just going to cut little pieces off. We got that. Now we'll add a little bit more to it. Okay. These are Hobby Lobby. You take, and they're just so pretty. Look how pretty those are. Just really nice. So we're gonna take one of them and we're gonna take a brown one one just don't know that I want a big brown one we'll use a littler brown one I'm gonna tuck that in here And then I'm going to tuck the brown one in there too. So again, if you like this collage paper, thank you for the hearts. If you like this collage paper, I know you can get it from the link that I posted there. That's this aviary collage paper by Tim Holtz. You, I've used it on clay pots. I've used it on wood crosses. And now I'm using it on this birdhouse. This one in here. Add a little bit of color to it. Okay, then two more things. And the button. Three more things then. Okay. This is also Hobby Lobby. 
and I pick it apart. There's other stuff I already taken off. I like these wire tendrils. We're gonna use them. We're gonna use a couple of them. Now I'm gonna, just gonna roll them like a little twine or like a little vine. So I could just little, and we're gonna tuck that in here. Just again, just add a little bit of extra texture to it. I'm just gonna stick that inside of there. That little, can you see that in there? And then we're gonna do one more up, up out of the top here. Thank you, Terry. That is pretty so real looking. It is. I love them. I love them. I buy them too when they're on sale. I Hobby Lobby. I don't buy hardly anything that's full price. Thanks, Catherine. All right. So this one I just wrapped up all. So again, it's just wire that you're cutting off of there. And I'm gonna tuck this one in up here Over there So I tuck it, make sure it's tucked behind something so that it's going to stick to something. I don't know that, can you even see them on here? It's really hard for you to see them. Aw, oh, Lila, thanks for tossing me around. You always toss me around. I appreciate it. All right. I just want to make sure this one's going to stay. We're going to put a little more glue down there. There we go. Now that'll stay. All right, so we added that. Okay, two more things now. Hobby Lobby also in the ribbon, so every other week, 50% off. Just gonna make, make it look like sort of, I don't know, <laughs> a little messy. So my thought is, is that we're gonna just take it and sort of twist it, and we're gonna bring it up and over and over the top, and it's just gonna add a little something again. Just another dimension to it. So I'm gonna take this and just start with a little bit of glue on the bottom. Try to make sure I don't burn myself. Okay, this I have to let set up a minute. You're awesome. Aw, oh, thank you, Catherine. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you, Catherine. Why are you covering all your deck? I'm not covering all of it. Not all of it. You're still gonna see that. But you know what? Everybody's taste is really different. If you wanna see all your decoupage, absolutely, that's beautiful also. So, you know, I'm just giving you different ideas. I love doing like extra dimension in my stuff, but yeah, if you wanna just do the decoupage, absolutely, that's beautiful. So I get that. Thank you, Gloria, I appreciate it. Okay, so we got that. And I'm going to just sort of twist this. This is just a really different texture to this, this is. So we're gonna twist it around. And then we're going, just gonna keep twisting it. Bring it up and over. And I just want to see how I adhered my other one. I said I did it last night, so 
I can cheat. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it to the back. So it just adds a little another, another dimension to it. This is going to cut off. Almost done. Go down there. Don't touch on it because you'll get burned. Use my wire cutter. <laughs> Almost done. One thing left. Do you know what's left? And then we'll do random act of kindness drawing. We'll do two of them. Right. How do you come up with these fat? I don't know, Stephanie. Sometimes my head is weird. Other people inspire you. Um, when you look at things, you see what some people do, but you might mix, you, you mix it up. You might mix it up with something else that you see that you like, or you, you see what they did, and there's other ideas that just flow to give you those other ideas. So um, you might see four different things, and you sort of mod podge it all together to make one thing. So there's a lot of things. Um, when I walk in Hobby Lobby, don't don't think that I'm not looking at everything on the shelves too. That gives you ideas. You know, some of the things you can make look like that. So that's how how it is. All right, got that. Final touch. I already picked out the button, I think. I have this button here that has the most awesome design, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on there. I, if I had a bigger heart, I had a little dark heart, but I think we need something a little bigger. The other option is I have this one. Okay, so I'll let you guys decide what button. This one to me seems a little bit plain, but I like the color. This one I think just adds to it. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do this. Yeah, a button. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah, I think we're doing this one. And then we'll do random act of kindness drawing. So stick on. Yes, creative juices. Some days your creative juices just don't go anywhere though. And you almost get bummed like because it's like I want to come on here so bad and do a live and I can't, my head just ain't thinking of anything that I can do. So that happens, we all have that block, and it's frustrating. Thank you, Don, I appreciate it. You like the lasso, oh, that other one? Too late, I did this one. Thank you for the stars, Deborah. And I see there's others out there, thank you, I missed them. All right. make sure all right and okay and you mentioned about the collage paper so I didn't cover it all um, I'll show you all around so you can see what all the front there's a lot that is covered but you can still see you can see a little bit of a nest in here you can see a bird you can see a couple birds I get that there's some stuff covered but when you look around you see the birdie darling you see the bird on the side. You see the birds back here. You see the bird on top and you see the bird on the side. So I get that this front, but the front to me is like almost like this is like your showcase kind of thing that um, really sets it off from other things and you still see your birds out there. If you want, you could also put like some moss on the bottom glue that on you could add a little perch and perch a little bird on here if you want you can do that or perch a little bird down on the bottom so there's a lot of things you could perch a bird up here uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it 
but you know so I'm just giving you ideas but yeah absolutely if you don't want that collage paper covered it would be beautiful without everything on too uh, somebody else just gave me some stars uh, Vicki thank you so much I appreciate it all right should we do two random act kind of strong